right, this is fractions of groups. So we spent time with this yesterday and more today. Basically, it's when you have a total, when we have a what? Total! And we're splitting the total up into equal groups. What part tells us how many equal groups in the whole we have? That part is called the? The denominator. What's it called, everyone? The denominator! What is a denominator? Ready, go. A denominator is how many equal parts in the whole. All right, so it's telling us we want to divide this up into three equal groups, okay? And then the top part is our what? Go. Numerator. What's a numerator? A numerator is how many parts we're focusing on. Stop. All right, so we have how many parts at the end we actually want to look at. So let's go ahead down to number C because one of the groups already did those top parts. We're going to look through C, D, and E on this side and C, D, and E on the other side as a sort of model for what we're going to do. All right, so grab pencils, and we're going to do these ones together before we go more independent. Okay, so first thing is when we see it, they're asking us, what is half of 10? Now, common sense, I bet a lot of you know the answer to that anyway. We know half of 10 is what? Five. Five. But let's just show that if they said show your work, well, let's show how we could show figuring that out, even though that's sort of a simple question if we use common sense. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and take our total and divide it up into how many equal groups in the whole? How many? Three, two, one. Two. two. So let's go ahead and do that. So our first step is going to be creating our nice, neat template where we divide up our total. Why? Because this number is not always going to be a nice 10. It could be like dividing up 87 things into a fraction or 88 things and you don't just maybe know the answer right so we know you need to know how to attack this with bigger numbers all right so let's put our codes total groups and this will tell us how many are in each group all right so first thing we're gonna do is take our 10 and plug it in we're just filling out this template and you guys are really really good at this so what's our total amount of marbles? We're just pretending they're marbles. Doesn't matter. Three, two, one, go. Ten. Let's put it in. Okay, now here's the question where you're gonna have to slow down and say, okay, self, I know these parts. I know there's a numerator and a denominator. This one tells me how many equal groups there are in the whole. So right here, I need to put the group. So how many groups do we want to split into? Let's circle it, please. And I want you to take your pencil really small and just sort of put an arrow pointing at the groups okay? to show I know where this goes. That's my groups, how many groups I have in the whole. All right, so let's put our two in. Now we just have a simple division problem, or you can think about it as an inverse problem. What times two equals 10? And what's your answer here? Good? Nice job, Dad. Five in each group. So it just told you the answer. Almost. We need to look at this part. What? Oh, what, what we're focusing on. So there's five in a group. In one group, there's five marbles. So now we need to go back up here. This is our next step is looking at how many they want us to focus on. I want you to take this number and draw an arrow over to here to show where these numbers go, okay? So how many groups of five do they want us to focus on? How many? One. One of them. So let's put a little one there. Because we know that one time something means one group of and how many in each group. So let's put a little times. So they want us to focus on one of the groups. Remember, multiplication means groups of. 
one group of, how many are in each group? Three? Five. Five in each group equals, so how many marbles are there? Michael, go ahead. Five. Five marbles. So let's go ahead and write five, and if you can't fit it there, we can just write it underneath. Marbles. Okay. So this is something new is showing this. One group of five. Here's the cool thing. Because when we do this on the next page, you're going to see, oh, I see why this is a nice part of my steps. Because then it could be, instead of focusing on one part, it could be focusing on what? Two, two parts. Two. And you would just do two times that. Or maybe it's focusing on three, three parts or four parts. And it makes it very simple to then notice that. All right. So let's go ahead and move right on to the next page and look at what that looks like if we are focusing on more than one part. So we're going to go right to letter C on the next page. And you can see right away they're telling us to focus on two parts out of the five. Okay? So let's go through those same steps and then we're going to stop the video. Okay? And that's your template for every other problem. Okay? So here we go. They want to know what's two-fifths of 10. Right away, a little bit harder than what's half a 10, right? Okay. Yeah. Two-fifths of 10 seems a little bit different. Okay. We're not used to talking like that. All right, so we're going to step one, set up our template. What's step one? Template. Nice, let's do it. Okay, so we're taking our total. What are we taking? Total. Dividing up into how many groups? And it'll tell us how many marbles are in each group. Well done. Okay, so here we go. Plug it in. What's our total? Everyone go. Ten. 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 Okay, let's circle. Which part of the fraction tells you how many equal groups in the whole? Which part tells you? Who knows? Hands up if you know, hands down if you don't know. Chase, which part? Which part tells you how many equal groups in the whole? The Nice. Tell them, man, you're good. Man, you're good. Circle the denominator like you said. Okay. Draw this little arrow just as a visual of where does the denominator go? Oops. Right here. It tells us how many groups. So we have five groups in the whole thing. That makes sense. Ten split up into five groups. How many then are what? In each group. group. That's my question. Who has this number? What times five equals ten or just ten divided by five? Go ahead, Jordan. So, two. Here we go. All right. So, there are two in one of the groups. Now we need to answer our question: How many are in two of the groups out of five? So, I want you to take this number again and put it right over here, because now we're not doing one group of two, how many do they want us to focus on? How many this time, John? Um, two. Two of the groups. So we're saying two with a multiplication symbol, which means groups of. Two groups of these is, isn't just this two. Two groups of this equals how many marbles? And just visualize it. One group is two marbles, so two groups is... Luke, how many marbles? Four marbles. So we're going to write four, and I can only fit it down below. Four marbles. So when you're doing this at home, every problem you're doing, even the word problems, go through these steps. Let's go through them together. First step is write your what? Okay. Fill it out. Write down the total. total. Write down the groups. Figure out how many are in each group. 
and then we're going to take our, what part is this? The numerator. numerator! And we multiply it by this number. We're saying there's two groups that we want to focus on of two, and that means four murders. These are your steps for every problem. Just to set you up with it, take a look. Mason's car has a gas tank, okay? Maybe we don't care, right? But it holds 24 gallons. Ah, that's what it holds. What's that sound like to you code-wise? Selena? The total, you're right. So let's put a T above there, okay? The tank is exactly one-fourth full. So it's one-fourth full. Sometimes I circle instead of underlying fractions because it's easier to make it stand out. How many gallons are in Mason's car? Right. So they're basically saying, what is one-fourth of the 24? How many gallons is that? And so your job is to set it up on the side. So we're just going to set this up together. And that way you can see it also for the video if you need to refresh your brain. So we have one-fourth of how much? William? One-fourth out of 24. Nice job. I like how you sort of even said out of, out of 24. So here's our problem. Guess what? Now it looks exactly the same. And so you would start off by creating your template. template, nice, and then filling in your codes, writing your total, dividing it up into how many groups, figuring out how many are in each group, and then multiplying it by how many? One fourth. One. Just one. So that's nice and easy. Okay. One times whatever that is, and you get your answer. All right. So. You're set up with that. That's what we wanted to do during N and I today. Okay, so let me go ahead and stop this. And good luck. Ask for help if you need, and we'll work more on it in class as well.